I don't really know what I accomplished. Hey, welcome to the garage. I know it's been a minute since I got back to working on the Jeep. There's been a few reasons for that. I won't, I won't bore you with the details. Um, as you can see, the Jeep's been sitting out fairly neglected for a bit. So, so it's getting close to spring. I'm gonna do a little bit more work on it and see if I can get it ready to drive, have some fun with it this spring and summer. Um, if you've got an old Jeep, you know that uh, they leak. If you got a brand new Jeep and it leaks, then you got real problems. If you got an old Jeep and it leaks, whatever, that's the way they do. So like every other Jeep, this thing's leaking all kinds of fluids, whatever. But one thing that it is doing um, is water leaks inside the Jeep somewhere in the windshield area. Um, so I'm suspecting that this, the, the gasket that goes between the windshield and the body, I'm guessing that that is bad. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna get that replaced today. I think I've got the right one. So that's what I'm gonna do is get that replaced and see if I can't fix that leak. Before I do that, I need to get this light bar off and see if I can even get the windshield to fold down to get to it. So I don't know if this windshield has ever been folded down. We're about to find out. Check it out. All right, so I think in theory, I should be able to get this windshield to fold down now if I haven't forgotten anything. And for the record, yes, I'm aware that this is backwards. That's a previous owner thing. It hasn't bothered me yet, but I will be spinning that around. It shouldn't look like a hood scoop. Um, I'm gonna lay this guy down. I think I've got some wiring here that I'm gonna have to be careful for. Let's see. So now that I dig into this a little bit, I don't think, I don't think my gasket is actually bad. Now that I dig into this a little bit, I'm missing a screw. And I think that's where the water's coming through. This rubber seal actually looks in good shape. I don't think I need to replace it, which, which is fine because <clears throat> the one I ordered is apparently wrong anyway. It was supposed to be for a YJ, but it has these cutouts 
which I wasn't sure what those are for, but now that I look at the one that's in here, it does not have those cut out. So I didn't, I don't have the right one anyway, but that's fine. I think water may have been making its way in one side or the other. And this one screw that holds this plate here, this one screw is missing and that does go, that does go all the way through. So if some water was making it into this trough, I can see a little bit of rust here. If the water was making it into this area, it could have gone down in that screw hole, potentially could have gone underneath this plastic, I guess. So I don't, I can't really see, not really sure how the water was getting in there. Um, but this seal, I don't think is bad. I don't see a reason to replace that. It's a lot of, it's a lot of effort to replace something that I'm pretty sure looking on the inside doesn't need to be replaced. I'm going to take a few minutes and just kind of clean this out a little bit as long as I'm in here. Um, it does give me a better, it does give me a better view of the original color. The more I see that, the more I'm really thinking I want to go back to that color. I don't know. I'm still going back and forth, but um, the, we, we will see. I've gone through and cleaned this up a little bit, uh, replaced this screw, actually stole one out of the dash on the inside. Um, so that's got it all cleaned up. The only indication, so I see a couple of things that, that may be at play here. And you, if there are any, any Jeep YJ owners that are watching, if you've got any ideas, let me know. One thing I see is around this corner, I do see indication of some rust, some water buildup over on this passenger side. I see a little indication of water, uh, water damage, if you will, under there. And so what I'm thinking, I also see this screw hole, which I don't know where that came from. Uh, I don't know what that was there for. The previous owner had put that there, I believe, because uh, I don't see one matching on the other side. Anyway, and it's rusty, so that's been there's been moisture in there. My suspicion is based on all of the gunk and the way this is done around the top. When the when the strip was put on, uh, when when the when the piece that was put on the windshield to, to hold the, the soft top that was done before me, when that was put on and, and screws were put in, I'm guessing that uh, the water is possibly getting in those screws. When this piece was put on for the, for the soft top, possibly water is coming in either through those, either through these holes or somehow making its way down into the window frame itself and then running down inside the window frame, possibly coming out that hole or just filling up inside these. And then eventually the water coming out of those down into this area and then leaking through that hole. So uh, it wasn't bad, but it was enough that it did happen to drip on the, the radio that I had and short that out. thought I was going to forget this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I got the Jeep put back together. Um, 
and was able to see that, uh, I don't really know what I accomplished, but at least I did see that the windshield folded down and, and learned a few things. Um, if you're wondering, or if you care, I didn't, I took the light bar off. I've been meaning to do that anyway. When I went to take these brackets off, these screws on both sides are really dangerously close to being stripped out. So that's going to be a project for another day. I didn't feel like, um, didn't feel like taking those out and leaving holes and, and, and kind of paint myself into a corner there. So if you're a YJ owner and you see some, you see something that I, maybe I missed on where my water issue may be coming from. It's not bad. Um, it's, it, it leaks when it rains really hard and that's if the Jeep's sitting still or if it's rolling. Um, so I don't know. So if you're a YJ owner and you, and you see, or maybe even CJ, I think CJ's may be very similar. Um, if you see something I missed, let me know. Uh, I don't know, but, and if you've never taken the windshield down on your YJ, that's how you do it. It's not too hard. I don't know what the, I don't know that what the real benefit is in, in this, in a YJ of taking the, taking the windshield down because the roll bar is just kind of stuck out there. So I don't know. I don't know that I would ever ride with that, but anyway, I appreciate everyone watching my videos. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed, thank you very much. Uh, I'll try to try to get back to doing a little bit more Jeep stuff uh, as the as as the time permits and budget permits uh, and weather permits. So and hopefully we'll be getting this Jeep out on the road pretty soon. I've got a few things a few things underneath I need to do um, to kind of get it going, um, and then. I am still kicking around with the idea whether I want to stay black or go back to the original khaki color. Uh, for the time being, it's going to stay black. If you're wondering whatever happened with the body bolts, those are still an issue. Uh, one of them I'm going to have to cut out. The other one I'm going to have to drill out. And I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Thanks for watching the Daily Brew Garage, and I will see you next time.